Hi, my name is Arnold Helmantel. I'm the product manager for Vario here in the EMEA region. And today I'm going to show you how to set the IntelliFrame auto framer inside the IntelliShot in five easy steps in a video conferencing setup. Step number one. Open the Vario deployment tool and open the web interface for the um, IntelliShot camera. Step number two, in the auto framing tab of the web interface, we're going to adjust the optical zoom so that the entire table is in view of the uh, IntelliShot. So using the optical zoom to zoom in and making sure that you align, well, it doesn't have to be exact, but basically you want to have um, as much optical zoom uh, used for framing your shot. Step number three, select one of the three presets defined, predefined for video conferencing. Um, I would suggest uh, just selecting the default conference and see if that uh, fits your need. But if you want to have it move quicker or slower, you can select either the responsive or conservative presets. So for demo uses, um, I'm now going to do the uh, responsive conference. Step number four, so create a mask to cover any areas you don't want to have tracked by the auto tracker. So what I will do is I will create a new mask and, um, and it was one of the things that I suggest, especially when you're mounting it, uh, the camera over uh, a display, is to create a mask in the lower half to make sure that any feet that are uh, moving underneath the table are not covered by the auto framer. The other thing you can do is create an extra mask and for example here in the back there's a projection screen, cover that part with a mask so any movies that are being played back or powerpoints that also can create motion are being covered by that mask. And step number five, unpause the auto framer so it can start tracking anybody entering the room. So these have been five easy steps of setting up the uh, IntelliFrame auto framer inside the IntelliShot camera um, in five simple steps. Uh, so with that, I want to thank you all for your attention today and uh, hope to see you next time.